Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I am wanting to show you the strategies that I use to get Mastery Level 5 and Mastery Level 7 in League of Legends Season 12 on every champion that you can possibly think of. I have three tips that can help speed up the process and make it a lot easier. However, before I start the video, it would I would really appreciate it if you could hit the like button if you enjoy the video because it really helps me see what videos everyone enjoys and it helps push my content out to a larger audience. And if you want to see more videos from me, then hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this one. One last thing is that I have also made several more League of Legends tutorials on my channel. Uh, such as how to level up quickly, how to get blue essence quickly, the easiest way to get mythic essence and many more. So if you fancy watching any of them, then make sure to look at my channel after watching this video in the description. Anyway, I'm going to stop my rambling and we will get on to the video. Now, I have three strategies that I personally use to get mastery level seven on all of my favorite champions. The first strategy that I always do is I make sure to play duos with one of my friends that is a lower elo than me. Uh, the reason that this is helpful is in League of Legends, the system, uh, it will always match you up with lower elo players, basically because if you're playing with somebody with a lower elo than you, uh, to make it more fair to the larger audience, which is mid to low elo, uh, they will then team you up with them rather than having a low elo person in a higher elo. Uh, meaning that no matter what lane you're in, you'll be able to hard stomp and carry all of your games to victory. And doing this will massively increase the amount of S, S minus and S plus tokens that you will get uh, when playing and therefore speed up your champion mastery points. Uh, and then therefore how quickly you can receive the mastery tokens. Um, some people always say to me in the comments, oh, I don't have a friend that is low elo, or I don't have, basically I don't have a way that I can get into low elo because I don't play with anybody else. Now, I am in the exact same boat, and the thing that I do is I will always play, I'll go and play, if it loads, I'll do draft pick or blind pick, but I mainly like doing draft pick. And once you go on there, you will go and take a look on a third party website or a third party app at all the other players, and you'll be able to see their ELO. So then after the game, you add them, you get talking to them, and then you can jump in the games with them. And especially if they're playing a role that is not your main role uh, and you're playing a role that can help them, then you're basically going to help yourself even more with having a pre-made. Now, before I continue with these other two tips, I thought that I'd mention uh, that some people may struggle with getting the blue essence. Uh, let me go to the... Some people may struggle with getting the uh, blue essence that is needed with your champion tokens to upgrade them, uh, basically to honor level six and honor level seven. The fastest way that I get blue essence in season 12, uh, I get these champion shards uh, that you can get from leveling up or many other ways and I just disenchant them into essence and as you can see I get a lot of champions from leveling up and another strategy which I'll tell you in a second and it gets you a lot of essence uh, this is probably about 10 to 12,000 essence probably even more actually just in this little pile um, you can gain champion shards very quickly uh, what I do is I abuse the season pass uh, tokens. So this is the MSI 2022 high noon tokens. However, it doesn't have to be this one. Basically, any season pass tokens. Uh, you can either get them from playing games or you can complete the missions in them if you buy the actual pass. Uh, you'll go to accessories and... Oh, no, sorry, not accessories. You'll go to loot and you'll go to oh it's not showing anyway you'll basically you go to it might be in featured actually but considering i've already purchased it i do not think it will show me no it won't but either way you go to the shop you buy it and you'll get a bunch of high noon tokens and basically whenever you play you play a game uh it will earn tokens in the background then you go down to the bottom and you click random champion shards and you can gain as much blue essence as possible Another thing that you can do with the 
tokens as well as so you can also get mystery emotes and then disenchant them into orange essence which i do quite a lot sometimes uh, however i've disenchanted all my uh, spare emotes and basically it's a very quick way to also get orange essence but that is not what we're on about uh anyway next tip that i found to get in mastery levels very quickly is by playing jungle now this sounds a bit weird considering i actually play jungle jungle is my main role and i only ever play jungle but uh to anyone except jungle mates this may sound like an annoyance but the reason that this is the case is because in the jungle you have a much lower chance of getting multiple deaths at the start of the game and because of this uh, you have an easier time getting positive win rate like you can see in all these like 4-0, 4-0 and 12-3, 20-12 to basically you will have a lot higher chance getting a positive win rate. Uh, Considering you will have less deaths, you can also get more CS um, and you're basically able to play a lot safer than if you was to be laning against maybe a counter of your champion uh, that you're using to level up or you have less, you have more opportunities for things to go wrong. In the jungle, you do not have that. Uh, you are also able to get a lot of CS when playing in the jungle uh, when you path right, which actually leads me on to my third and final tip and probably the most reliable strategy that I have found to get mastery tokens uh, and uh, leveling up your champion point. I forgot what it's called. Now, mastery points uh, is basically collecting as much farm as you can per game now i know this sounds stupid but this ties in well with jungle basically one thing that i found is unless you have a very bad kill to death ratio and then no matter what you're always going to uh, not get an s or an s minus or whatever but if you don't have a bad kill to death ratio and i have either 300 to 400 cs a game or I have an average of about eight CS per minute, then I will always get an S or an S minus or an S plus, basically meaning that I will level up my champion very quick. So like, for example, this game, I went four on zero. I had, I believe I can check somehow my, uh, my statistics. Will it tell me my CS score? No, it won't. But from what I can remember, I had an eight and a half uh, CS per minute. Uh, you can work that out if you. Uh, no, it won't show. But 135 CS in a 15 minute game. That was eight and a half CS per minute, and uh, basically I played safe uh, and didn't die, and I got a S plus in that game. Uh, so that's basically my all my strategies that I have. I know that they're not game breaking, but they're little tips and tricks that I use to get it as fast as possible. As you can see, I've got a very low level account, but if you look at my actual account, I already have two champions at level seven and I'm working on getting my Master Yi to level seven. And then after that, I will be working on getting my Wukong to level seven. Now, I have only been aiming to get my champions to level seven for probably about a month and i've already made this much progress i think that shows enough how good these tips and tricks are now before i keep rambling on i'm going to end the video here if you did enjoy this video like i said earlier on please click that like button because it will help push my video out to a larger audience and i'll be able to see what sort of content that you like anyway guys that has been me i hope you enjoy this video and i will see you in the next one Goodbye.